is the time right now. A 20-year Army veteran in the East is receiving some much-deserved attention for an American flag ritual that has inspired his family and neighbors for decades. 80-year-old William Jerry Haney of Winterville has terminal cancer. But as Elise Ramey reports, he wants one important message about love of country to live on after he's gone. Every day for 20 years, military veteran William Jerry Haney has hoisted the American flag wherever he has lived. When you see that flag out there waving, what does that mean to you? Touching my heart. His heart would become overjoyed when planning to move closer to one of his daughters a few years ago. He found a house with a flagpole in the yard. He actually had that put into the contract that the flagpole <laughs> would, would be in, you know, as part of his purchase. He would make sure. So we knew how much it meant to him. But when Haney started experiencing severe back pain in April, his life drastically changed. In June, he was diagnosed with stage 3 lymphoma, and it has progressed rapidly. They tried some treatment options that... Um, weren't very successful. So it's just been a very quick onset of illness. And the ritual that Haney performed every day with a salute and every night with pride just got to be too much for him physically. And at that point in time, when the flag had been down probably a week or two, um, our neighbor Steve, or my parents' neighbor Steve, wanted to find out why the flag wasn't being raised. One day he happened to be in the yard and I uh, asked him if uh, I could help out by putting it up for him, and uh, he agreed. Steve Starling says Haney has taught him and his two boys so much about patriotism. What's emerged now is a relationship and admiration for a man who served 24 years in the Army as a warrant officer. You know, Jerry, Jerry was the hero next door, and we didn't know it. Jerry's a veteran of two wars and was shot down over Vietnam in a helicopter. Haney has been honored for his service and patriotism by U.S. Senator Tom Tillis. He also continues to be cherished by his large family and wife of 60 years. The Lord has just been so wonderful to Jerry and I through all of this. He has just really given us such peace. In this day where there's so much negativity, and this is just... We are just so surrounded and feel so loved. Steve and uh, all those folks that raise that flag every morning are uh, precious to me. My family is precious. And I that flag will continue to raise long after I'm gone. I hope it sends a great message. It's a message I want to get out. That was Elise Ramey reporting that Haney's two daughters will be moving their parents to a progressive senior living facility this week where hospice care will continue for their dad. And as for the flag ritual, neighbor Steve Starling says he hopes to continue the tradition in some way and may even get a flagpole of his own. Just a gorgeous story, Jim. Beautiful for so many reasons. Hard not to cry during that one. Very touching. Yeah, my favorite part of it is the way he has touched his neighbor's children. Uh, all you gotta do is talk to a veteran for 10, 15 minutes. I think a lot of people don't realize just how much they do and how much they've done until you sit down and talk with them. Uh, great stuff. Outside right now, 